Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Here's the encouragement of the book of Proverbs to you today. This is, again, we're still in Proverbs chapter 10. And here's the encouragement. Hear the hard stuff. Listen when somebody challenges you, rebukes you, disciplines you. It's so easy to block it out and, and to come up with all of our excuses. But learn to listen when someone brings a concern. They might even be wrong. But if you don't listen, you can't learn. And if they are right with the concern they're bringing, it can make you a better person. One verse today for us to focus on. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 17. Whoever heeds, or whoever listens to, whoever receives, whoever heeds discipline, shows the way to life. But whoever ignores correction leads others astray. That one verse. Whoever heeds discipline shows the way to life. Whoever ignores correction leads others astray. What is this saying? If someone disciplines you, if somebody corrects you, if somebody points out a concern for you, be open. Listen. There may be a little truth there. There may be a lot of truth there. There may even be no truth there. But there's nothing lost in the listening and a lot gained if there's truth that you can learn. And then if we ignore the discipline somebody else brings. I mean, think about it. When somebody comes to you with a concern to point out something that they think you need to grow in, it takes a lot of guts. They're risking the relationship. They're not exactly sure how you're going to respond. If someone loves you enough to bring a concern, at least be humble enough to listen. I've had people bring concerns to me, and afterwards I thought, I think they're wrong, and I haven't taken their input. But can I tell you what? When people love me enough and take the time to share something with me, about 85 to 90% of the time they share it, and I kind of go, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, I got to learn. I got to grow in that area. And, and, and so just the listening itself gives you an opportunity to become more of who God wants you to be. If we listen, we grow in wisdom. If we don't lis- listen, we walk the path of a fool. A couple weeks ago in our weekly wisdom, we were talking about how when we bring concern to somebody else, do they receive it? And if they don't, we don't keep going back to somebody who's a mocker, who keeps resisting. Now it's turned the, you know, now Proverbs turns the mirror kind of on ourselves. How do we respond when someone brings a concern? So someone comes to you and they say, hey, I love you, I care about you, but I think you drink too much. Somebody dares to come to you and say, you know what, I've been watching you here in the workplace, it's a coworker, they're a friend, and they say, you seem, I just, I, it seems like you're really flirtatious with this other employee, and I think it's, you're, 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 married, you're, you're a married man or you're a married woman, and this has got some danger signs. I just need to tell you, I'm noticing that. Somebody dares to say that to you. How do you respond? Somebody comes to you and they, and they love you enough to say, you know what? You got a temper. And when things don't go your way, you kind of fly off the handle. And I just need to let you know that people are noticing that. That's going to get in the way of how you're perceived and how you're seen in your relationships. Leave me alone. It's none of your business. Get off my back. That's one way to respond. Or thank you for daring to share that. I'll think about that. I'll pray about that. I'll, I'll, I'll search my heart on that. And, and I might even circle back to you and, and talk to you a little bit more about this, but thank you for having the courage to, to share that. I mean, two different ways to respond. But here's the encouragement today from God's word. Grow in wisdom. Be willing to listen. Be willing to receive those things. If they're off base, then, then push them aside. But if they're spot on, or if they have a little bit of truth, learn from that. Have the humility to listen and learn and become all that God wants you to be. Will you pray with me? Living God, thank you for people in our life who love us enough to dare to come and to share a concern. May we have tender hearts and enough humility to listen. And may we actually then become more of the people you want us to be. Thank you for your word. Thank you for Proverbs. Thank you for all you're teaching us through these passages. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, blessings on the rest of your week. If you're part of Shoreline Church, we'll see you Sunday morning, 9 and 11, either online or on campus. If you're on campus, come by and say hi to me and say, hey, I listen to the, to the weekly wisdom and it's encouraging. I'd love to hear if it's touching your heart or your life. If you're a part of another church somewhere else, blessings wherever you are. Keep serving Jesus, be with God's people and live for him each day. Walk in his wisdom. Have a great day.